Rain from Rival Theory is a Unity plugin for AI creations, with its largest component being the Behavior Tree Editor. To start using Rain, we need to add an AI rig component to a Unity object, such as the Goalie Capsule. The first component of the AI rig is the mind for the character. Here, the user can give it a behavior tree that can be made using the Rain Behavior Tree Editor. In the Behavior Tree Editor, decision or action nodes can be placed down. If a decision node passes, it will execute the action or decision nodes underneath it. There are different types of actions and decisions that can be placed down, which we will cover more in depth when we go over our implementations of the goalie and the miner. The memory component is where variables can be saved for the rig to use in other components, such as the behavior tree. Variables here can be initialized in the editor and then updated with scripts, which is what we had to do for both the miner and the goalie's implementations. The motor component of the AI is where the user can set speed and other movement-related variables. The animator component is used for controlling an agent's animations and can be accessed from other parts of the AI rig. The navigator component ties in with Rain's navmesh support to determine how the agent will move around in the game world. The senses component allows one to add sensory triggers to the AI rig. One example is an audio sensor so that the agent can react to hearing noises in the game within a certain vicinity. Custom behaviors can also be added to the AI rig, allowing for a more specific user-defined behavior. Here is some footage of our goalie implementation in Rain. As you can see, the goalie acts similarly to the Buckland goalie, tending the goal, intercepting the ball, and returning the ball to the center of the field. To implement the goalie, we converted the goalie state machine into a behavior tree. Between the goalie's simple behavior and Rain's ease of use, replicating the goalie was a simple task. Here is the goalie behavior tree in the Rain editor. At the top is a parallel node, which runs all the nodes underneath it simultaneously. The nodes underneath it are the Tend Goal, Intercept Ball, and Return to Home Decision nodes, which are all constraints. Constraints will run the actions or decisions underneath it if and only if the constraint is true. When we designed the constraints, we made it so that only one of these decisions would be running at a time. Once one of these constraint nodes passes, it runs the action underneath it. All of the actions related to the goalie are movement nodes, which tell the goalie object to move to the given location with the given speed. After creating the behavior tree, we created an AI rig for the goalie object and attached this tree to its mind component. In addition, we initialized some of the variables that it uses in the memory component of the AI rig. Finally, we also made a C# -sharp script for the goalie that updates the variables in the AI rig depending on the game state, as well as a few other calculations that can be done in the Rain editor. Here is the result of building the miner in Rain. For simplicity's sake, we built the simplest version of the miner so there's no messaging, no wives, or no barflies involved here. The miner travels between the states of digging for gold, going to the bank when his pockets are full, going to the saloon to quench his thirst, and going home when he feels wealthy enough. As you can see on the left side of the screen, his stats are constantly changing, and he is switching state at the appropriate time, as indicated by both the pictures and the text at the bottom of the screen. The logic of adjusting the stats of the miner is done in code, but the logic behind switching states is all done in the behavior tree. In the miner, the tree is a bit more complex than the goalie, since it covers a few more actions than the goalie does. At the top level is a parallel node which allows the four constraints checking for the current state to run simultaneously. When a constraint for a state check passes, meaning that the miner is in that state, another parallel node will run any state transition checks. For example, if the miner is digging for gold, another set of constraints checks to see if his pockets are full or if he is thirsty. Based on the success or failure of those checks, the miner may change state. Changing state is done via a custom action. In Rain, actions work similarly to events, having an enter, execute, and exit function. The only difference being that actions are a one-time use compared to the more cyclic nature of events. Each state change has a custom action which updates the miner's state and other stats appropriately, both in the miner script as well as in its AI rig. The miner's stats are calculated each cycle inside the miner's script. The stats are saved both in the miner's game object as well as its AI rig, as the AI rig cannot update itself without a script. To set up the miner, we had to initialize many values in the miner's AI rig memory so that the tree could access all the miner's stats and thresholds. With this implementation of the miner, we have to declare, update, and track nearly a dozen stats this way. Given how unwieldy this simple version of the miner became, you can see why we didn't want to implement global states or anything near that complexity.